And this week, we van life in Wales. It's a little tricky in Wales, isn't it, to find so many wild park other in Scotland? Well, yes, it's smaller than Scotland. You do have to be a little bit more considerate with your wild parkings. Follow us as we show you some epic non-wild park ups, what it's like to van life in autumn, and some incredible sights to see. Oh, Look at the chaos. Okay, said it'd be fine. <laughs> Oh, that was. oh, look at this! It's keep a train of thought. Oh, you can go out there. Happy days! Hello and welcome back. If you hadn't guessed, we're in Wales. We are doing a slightly different vlog today, aren't we, darling? We are. We are. Rather than just telling you where we've been, we're going to take you along for the adventure with us, guys. We are waking up in South Wales near Bridge Ends. To those who are new here, to the OGs, we love a Brit start. When you are not in Scotland, it is kind of like a go to, isn't it? Yeah. So, are you making us coffees? Yeah. So I'm not sure if we got distracted by you guys. We are at the Watermill pub, which is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's just near Ogmore Castle. It's lovely. I'm looking past you out onto a field where a, a mare Man. and a fowl are. What? Are just playing in the field. There is a road here, but it's super quiet. It's had a good little deal on yesterday as well, wasn't it? £12.50 for a pint and a burger. Yeah, well, they have a different deal on every day. Yeah, it's quite cool in this particular Brit stop because you can walk down to the castle and there's like stepping stones. Yeah, some cool, cool walks around here. Loads of horse, we saw a deer. Walk all the way from this park up, all the way to the sea. You go through sand dunes, sand and, stuff, dunes don't yeah. you? and then there's another little sort of ruined castle there, isn't there? Yeah, that's quite creepy. Yeah. Probably shouldn't keep yawning. Keep normally, away, normally when we record you guys, it's like in the afternoon and we're like, whoa, let's do some filming. Whereas like today, it's like, whoa, Tristan morning. We've just woken up in a car park. <laughs> Trist is ill today. We are sharing the real deal with <laughs> the, you guys. Uh, yeah, the raw side of van life. Yeah. We are going to have a coffee and then we are going to get on the road to, I think, a bold statement for our favourite Brit stop in Wales. Yes. How long is it going to take to get there? I think it's a Oh, okay. Driving to me is my therapy. I just love it. So what happens when you spend the day with us, guys? Raw and unfiltered. <laughs> uh, right. Let's make a coffee and get out of here. I've got no idea how long this has been brewing because I yes, usually mate. set the timer. Chris is uh, like a coffee connoisseur. Anyway, we're rambling. What's happening now after I said you were a coffee connoisseur? Well, I put the tiny little bit left of coffee that we had in the original pack and I never put any more coffee in it. I wondered why it didn't smell of coffee, so... Yeah, I've already been waiting five minutes for... You lose your badge. You're so cool. Um, oh, it's so nice. The sun's out. Sun's out, guns out. Concentrate on driving. <laughs> we just went to Tesco's in Swansea. 50% less fat. There's <laughs> like 25% amount of crisps in there. I've had three crisps out of that packet. What is happening in the world? <laughs> Look at the chaos. I'm going to check us in, darling. Oh, it's out of the sea. That's nice. This looks like a normal car park, but it's actually pretty spectacular here. I'm just going to check us in. We'll take you across the road to the beach. And you'll find out why this is the best brick stop in the UK. We are at Oxwich Bay Hotel. We didn't actually stay in a hotel, we slept <laughs> in a car park. Yeah, overnight in, in a car park. It's a little tricky in Wales, isn't it, to find so many wild park up like in Scotland? Well, yes, it's smaller than Scotland. You do have to be a little bit more considerate with your wild parkings. This is the hotel. Checked in yesterday. This beach, lovely sunrise. What's quite nice is when we've been here before, we're on a Friday, Saturday night. Yeah. In the summer, it's absolutely packed down. Yeah, see his little fire pit down there. But if you just want to come for the day, you can park in this car park. Back of your van, pointing on to the beach. But yes, yeah, said car park. You can park right next to the beach. But yeah, it's £15 for a motor, home or camper van. £6 for a car. Park here as well. Some more toilets here. Which I think are open 24 hours a day. And those clouds are fun, don't they? Let's film more of that for you. 
That looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful spot this. Yeah, it's lovely. But especially when three cliffs bay campsite, which is normally fully booked and is about sixty pound a pitch, it's about five minutes from here, and you're right on the beach. Yeah. So it's a no-brainer. Really. Can't knock it, can you? No. Right, so I'm just going to take you into the nature reserve. I'll leave Chris here. This is where it starts. Key footage of the lovely sand dune area. So yeah, off up in there. Loads to walk. Nice little sandy paths. Sand dunes. I think you could probably go and get lost in there for a couple of hours. It's absolutely beautiful in there. You can walk your way to a couple of little bridges up in there, which go over a little river that goes in and out from the sea at different tides. This place is top notch. You do have to be a Brit Stops member to stay here. Usually when we've been here, it's quite busy. This time of year it seems very, very quiet, which is our type of thing. Also, you can get fish and chips over there, close at the moment. I think it's probably open at the weekend. Little Frank, hello. Let's take you back now to the car park. Hey, Murphles. Right, time to get this all back into a normal state of affairs. Let's go. It's done. Time to make the coffees and do the last of our turnaround van ready jobs. Yeah, have you got to do your makeup? We both seem to have a fun cold today. We're not very ill people, are we? So put me up here, eh? Unless you all want to watch Kez do her makeup. We'll take you to where we're going to next, right? Whilst I'm doing a couple of more van jobs, van jobs. Oh, yeah, there you go, Kez doing her makeup. Bosh. Rubbish. <laughs> One thing to add is if you come and stay here, internet signal is pretty poor, but they've got free Wi-Fi at the hotel. It doesn't stretch this far to Gertie. If you get close enough, you can use the internet. Time for a little costume change. Mm. Let's get the old girl started. This is always the fun part, isn't it? It's not been raining though, so. Yeah. It's all fun. Success! I said it'd be funny. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm out of Back to the Future or something. We are in a private car park, so hey. And that was the end of Tristan Kess. <laughs> Tristan didn't make it out of the car park. God! Oh, that was. Feel that. Get the adventure back on the road. <laughs> Back on the road. What's up? <laughs> What's up? We've got to our final destination. I'm watching where I'm walking so I don't fall over. Going down a very steep path at the moment. It won't come out on camera, it never does. Nah, it never does, does it? Pulled up, haven't we? We had a little, little bit of food and none of this matters. <laughs> none of this matters. You don't care that we've just had toast. Put strawberry jam on. Yeah, no, I had peanut butter and jam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, did, I didn't know. I can't remember if you're a peanut butter and jam fan. Yeah, depends. I was mm. having strawberry jam. Too. Who's a PB and J fan? I think <laughs> it is literally the best sandwich slash toast ever Although, made. You can't say PB and J because PB and J is actually from America, and a proper PB and J is made with grape jam. Peanut butter and jam. Then who who also is in my crew of peanut butter and jam? Because I think you can have that at any time of day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, all for a snack. Follow us for more. Of yeah, this follow content. us for more riveting content. But <coughs> we are just walking down this lovely path to Hinnerid Falls. The Batman waterfall. Yeah, for those that don't know, yeah, this was featured in one of the the Christopher Nolan Batman films with Christian Bale. Yeah, there you right go. at the end, I think it is. Where oh, is it Jason Gordon Levitt? Walks up Jason on the Gordon-Levitt. Yeah. Or Joseph Gordon Levitt. But it's actually the start or the end of the five waterfall walk, isn't it? Yeah. Which if you take it all the way to the end, which we might do today, um we're feeling a little under the weather in case I haven't mentioned <laughs> if we haven't it. conveyed that yet. It takes an hour 
there to the last waterfall and an hour back. So only a couple of hours, which yeah. to see five waterfalls, I think is pretty awesome. Yeah, on, pretty sick. Boy. I think the steep path ends shortly. Yeah, it does. Always with the, ah, I just stabbed myself in the head. <laughs> Kez is concerned about my inappropriate footwear that I always constantly have. We've lived in a van for 16 months now, travelled in a van for seven years now almost, and this kid will not buy appropriate bloody footwear. I have had hiking boots, but they died. <laughs> yeah, but they were like really comfy and didn't yeah, really fit awful. properly. So yeah, Tris works with trainers all year round. Yeah. Slippy, wet, rainy. He's got his trainers on. <laughs> yeah. This is probably a terrible angle. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Well, that's beautiful down there. And then some steep stairs. Oh, this is brilliant. We have been here before, like years and years ago. Maybe six years ago, to be fair. Hello. There she is, the Queen. Yeah, when did we last come here? I think about six years ago, five years ago. Really? Yeah, a bit warmer weather. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not sure about a two-hour walk. I don't think yeah, I know. That's just dumb, though. The sound of the waterfall's getting louder and louder, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I started running there. That seems wholly, wholly dangerous. I know it's nice to have blue skies. I really but love this. Though, autumn's my favourite season, and when it's like there's a little bit of damp in the air, and look at that. oh man, look at that! Oh, I just oh. this is this is. My sort of, yeah, this is lovely. Yeah, look, the floor has got a carpet of leaves. How beautiful. And then just a sneak peek, guys. There's cool moss. She goes, leave me, mate. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful here. As Kez was saying, autumn's like her favourite time of year. Oh, look at this. Need to keep a train of thought. <laughs> oh, you can go up there. See where that goes. Oh, this is, oh my God. This is brilliant. All right, big reveal time. How amazing is that? Happy days. Well, Frank's a mentalist, so Kez is going to stay there, and we are going inside the cave. The cave <laughs> inside the waterfall. I'm going to look down so I don't die. Oh, mate, this is meant. Oh, this is mental. Always wanted to come back here. Brought you a lot along. Ooh, it's a bit wet. <laughs> Surprising. Makes for a waterfall. Ah. Oh, this is nuts. Welcome to Henry Waterfall. It is truly a very, I doubt you can even hear what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> I'm very gutted that I haven't tried wild swimming, although maybe I'd have given myself hypothermia. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, look at all these, yeah, look at all this. Absolutely breathtaking. 
Right, so I look down again. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad we came back. Buzzing. Well, that's it, isn't it, for this episode? Yeah, it is. We're going to leave you here at the beautiful Penrith Falls. Let us know if you like this new format of vlog, if you like coming on the actual adventure with us. Next week, we're still going to be in Wales, so we've still got plenty more to share and show you guys. We want to be informative and entertaining. From Henry Falls, back to you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss another one of these episodes. And drop us a comment. And until next time, folks, bye for now.